Right, it's, um, it's just gone four, so it's three minutes past four, and just had another, another slab of a bream. And this one is weighing 10 pounds and 12 ounces. So this is actually another bigger bream. Um, it's two ounces short of my PB. This is another big massive bream. It looks, looks a lot more of a warrior than the first bream I had. Yeah, I won't, uh, won't mess around too much with the camera, just get a quick photo and then put it back. Morning, um, well it's closer to 11 o'clock than it is um, morning, it's nearly mid-morning, um, so I had quite a night last night, um, well, for my standards at the moment, um, what day have I had um, two double-figure bream and uh, a 13 pound uh, mirror, which is uh, a lot more than I was expecting, I was expecting one, if any, when I got here, um, especially because it's, it was a cold, cold night, the water's still really cold, um, I need to touch it, but the sun's come out now and it's like boiling hot morning, so I, I, I think um, I don't really have much confidence catching in this light now, but <laughs> I don't really care, I, I quite enjoyed last night and um, I'm happy, I'm happy with that. Um, well, I've got the kettle boiling next to me now, so that's going to start making a noise. Um, I'll show you the peg I'm fishing. This is a uh, on the bottom down by the trees, so I've got like trees and stuff both sides. Can be a bit of a hassle if you look up there when you're casting out. You clip the branches as you come down. But uh, yeah, so I've been fishing two method feeders, same mix um, I was using the competition. I've been throwing one down there and one in that direction, in line with the island. I've been keeping it, well, it's probably about seven rod lengths out, not too far. But, uh, yeah, I did. Done the job for me last night. Um, well, it's bright sun, isn't it? So, quite happy with that. Um, what I'll do, I'll finish off with the kettle by here now. Um, and myself, my standard black coffee. And um, I'll rebate up the last rig now, because I haven't done that. And I thought I'll show you the rig I was using last night. And the, it was the rig that counted for all the fish in the competition and um, the three last night. So, yeah, I'm just I'm quite happy. I'm happy. It's, uh, well, two double figure bream in one, one session, as well as a carp to top it off with. It's, it's not bad, is it? Right then, I'll, uh, I'll see you once uh, I've had my cuppa. Alright, done. Yeah, I think that's about done. Breakfast is served. Good day, right. This is uh, what I was using last night. If I tidy it up. This is basic. Uh, let's twist it over. It's basic. Hair rig. That was not quite a long hair on it. Straight down. Go to method feeder and just a, about a foot of tube in straight after. And then I've got that back leaded so that the whole thing sort of sits sits flat on the bottom. And that. So so I've got some bait in it now. Because I'm using fairly big boilies. They're 15 mil, but they are slightly swollen. 
Vasil. It's glow in the dark cone, but uh, I kept it on anyway. Stopping it. So that's the bait on the hook. You can see I've got what seven mil clearance on the top of there. Pack that in there. Cramming the metal feeder up. So it's uh, compacted. I'll poke a little finger hole in. And then set the bait straight in. And I'll squash that in. I did have a few of uh, the boys I'm using, so I'll wedge one of them, two of them in. Press them in the back and into the ball. And what I like to do, I don't know, just make sure that the, the link is uh, hanging low from from the ball, and that's ready to cast out. So, give my hands a quick wash, and I'll cast it out. There we go. There we go. There's the uh, police helicopter. Yeah, they were flying around um, from about three, four o'clock in the morning. Um, they were just, well, well, I think they just landed. Never seen that before. <laughs> well, they were flying around the early hours of the morning. It's like someone beating a drum from the sky. So that kept me awake for a lot of the night, that's why I probably slept till about 10 o'clock. But, uh, didn't stop those three runs. 